Hello everyone. Today, we're going to introduce the WOL or Wake on LAN feature of Latte Panda. WOL enables remote power on of a computer via network, which is perfect for scenarios requiring remote management or energy saving. Here is a list indicating WOL enabled models in the Latte Panda series. Now, we will take Latte Panda Sigma as an example to show you how to set up step by step. First, enable the WOL feature on Latte Panda. After powering on, press Dell or ESC to enter the BIOS. Locate the Wake from LAN option and set it to Enabled. Then save and exit. Next, configure the network adapter. We'll take Windows as an example. Go to Device Manager and locate your network adapter. Since Latte Panda Sigma has two Ethernet interfaces, you can go to the Task Manager to see which one you are using right now. And, double-click it. In the Advanced tab, ensure both Wake a Magic Packet and Wake a Magic Packet from S5 are enabled. Switch to Power Management and check the box for Allow this device to wake the computer. Then search Choose a Power Plan and open it. Click on Choose what the power buttons do and turn off the fast startup. Finally, go to the network connection details and note down the MAC address. Now, the Wake on LAN support setup for Latte Panda is complete. Then, move to another computer on the same local area network. We will use a neat Python script to wake Latte Panda up. Simply input the previously recorded MAC address into the script, and run it. Look, your Latte Panda is starting up. The download link for the Python script can be found in the video description below. For users of Latte Panda 3 Delta, besides the aforementioned WOL setup, it is also essential to enable the PME in the network adapter settings to keep the network card powered after the device shutdown. So today we talked about how to use WOL to awaken a Latte Panda on the same local network. Hope it's helpful to you. And if you wish to wake up a Latte Panda remotely from the internet, you will need to perform some advanced settings like port forwarding on your router. If you are interested in such content, please feel free to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.